What is Corpus Christi? How does it affect our life? Why do we celebrate it? I am Dylan Reyes and welcome to Family Life Update History. The institution of Corpus Christi as a feast in the Christian calendar resulted from the approximately 40 years of work on the part of Julian of Liege, a 13th century Novertine Canonist, also known as Juliana de Cornelion, born in 1191 or 1192 in Liege, Belgium, a city where there were groups of women dedicated to Eucharistic worship. Guided by exemplary priests, they lived together, devoted to prayer, and to charitable works. Orphaned at the age of five, she and her sister Agnes were entrusted to the care of the Augustinian nuns at the convent and leprosarium of Mont Corleone, where Juliana developed a special veneration for the Blessed Sacrament. She always longed for a feast day outside of Lent in its honor. This desire was enhanced by a vision of the church under the appearance of a full moon, having one dark spot, which signified the absence of such a solemnity. In 1208, she reported her first vision of Christ, in which she was instructed to plead for the institution of the Feast of Corpus Christi. The vision was repeated for the next 20 years, but she kept it a secret. When she eventually relayed it to her confessor, he relayed it to the bishop. Eventually, Pope Urban IV, always an admirer of the feast, published the bull Transitorus, in which, after having extolled to the love of our Savior, as expressed in the Holy Eucharist, he ordered the annual celebration of the Corpus Christi in the Thursday next after Trinity Sunday, at the same time granting many indulgences to the faithful for the attendance at Mass and at the office. This office composed at the request of the Pope by the angelic doctor St. Thomas Aquinas is one of the most beautiful in the Roman breviary and has been admired even by the Protestants. This important liturgical feast which Filipino Catholics celebrate on the first Sunday after the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity is rooted in the tradition and belief in the body and blood of Jesus Christ and His real presence in the Eucharist. It is my hope that we grow in our love and appreciation of the Holy Eucharist. And I challenge you to visit Him in the Blessed Sacrament. He is waiting for us there. Again, I am Dian Reyes, for Family and Life Update History. For more updates, please visit our website, www.familylifeupdate.com.